We are back at her. Uh, this round, I want to actually button up and get some stuff not hoagie welded onto my metal here. So I know I was had plans to do my lip and everything on the last video. We didn't get to that. So this round, I want to at least get the bumper that I can bolt it on, bolt it off. Uh, it may not be a permanent fixture, but we can do that when we're in the other shop. Um, we'll get these things welded on, get this thing mounted. Maybe we'll start working on the headlight rings and this bottom trim. It's kind of the plan. I don't think I want to get too far ahead of myself. I seem to, uh, things <laughs> progress and then they slow things down. But anyways, um, we have these brackets. We're going to put them back on. We're just going to sync them different and hopefully I can get this stuff to line back up and we can use the original, um, area to bolt them back on. Anyways, our first line of attack here is going to be, I'm going to measure this up here quick. We're going to make a simple bracket that's going to bolt onto here, come forward, and then we're going to have two bolts. And they're just going to come off. Very simple with a plate to here. It's not the final product, but at least it'll let us bolt and unbolt the bumper without having to weld it onto the truck here. So we're going to get to, uh, we'll jump out in the cold and, uh, Use a little plasma table and uh, cut some parts. <laughs> All right, plasma table got a little stuck there at first. I guess it was a little cold, but uh, we got our brackets cut. I know they're a little different. It seems like the horns are cut a little different on the front, but for now, at least we'll just rig this up. We'll bolt these together and uh, I don't know why. I'm thinking I measured something wrong here, but hopefully we kind of slotted all the holes just so we got a little bit of give to everything. So I don't know what order I have these, but they're definitely different, eh? I think it was because this is for the driver's side. It did not need as much. However, I decided to do this. That one just kind of does its thing. And for some reason, the passenger side, well, I shouldn't say some reason. I cut this so long ago. Let's see. I feel like I oh, did this wrong. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We can cut these down. Now I know, eh? All right, whatever. Not a problem, we can fix that. So we got the bumper brackets are tacked on. As you can see, we got those. They're a little different, but you're not gonna see it, so nobody, nobody's the wiser. So before I pull that bumper back off, up here you can see our brackets. I kind of jimmy rigged everything. Well, it's, everything's just stabbed into place. What I want to do is take these original brackets, and I have all the bits that I cut off of it, but I'd like to get one or two bolt holes in place so it's sitting where it's supposed to be. Uh, just the easiest way to show this. So, I think the easiest way is kind of, well, this is the wrong one for this side, but it's kind of, we'll put this back in place. Hopefully, I can get this to line up with the original bolt hole. It's just going to be at a different angle now. And then, uh, well, I'm going to try to bolt these in place, and then we're going to just zap it to this thing, to which we can clean up 
and weld it all better once we take it off the truck. But I just want to make sure everything sits where it's supposed to be. And then, uh, well, we can pretty much tidy everything up better after. So, before we take the bumper off and all the other stuff, we're going to zap these things in there. and Then we can dismantle the front end and figure out what we're doing. So we got our grill tacked in there, there, well, a couple spots. We fixed the original brackets. It's bolted into the original spot that it was, so that's good. That is held in place nice. I'll probably have to address this. I don't really care, but I'm just wondering how bad that's gonna make some noise because things are touching. Uh, not too big of a deal to me. We have the simple brackets held into place for our bumper brackets, so now we can unbolt that. We can cut these. I think uh, the next step we're going to jump into here is um, these things. We got to address this stuff, get it back so you can see what we cut off. It's all the way down there. So I want to keep that on there, but we want to keep this uniform uh, gap going all the way up. So. Anyways, this kind of, if I put this sort of back the way it was, I should be able to just do things. <laughs> we cut too much out. We got to reverse this now. So, I don't know. I guess it'd be easy if I took the bumper off. Yeah, we'll just... We'll paper template it, and then we can trace it to this thing. We can cut that. Do the same to this side. Basically, whatever I cut off, we're just going to boog it back on. And then we can start working on this lip that I want around the edge here.
Well, now you can see the overall idea I'm going for. Except for some reason, I feel this needs to be maybe more round. I like the way it ends over here. Because technically, once my fender's sitting where it's supposed to be, it would uh, follow the edge properly. But this is too flat. I almost feel this needs to be more, like, more up. But I don't know how to say it. I think if it had more angle to it, it would look better. Not that much, but in that vicinity. Because right now it looks too flat. I think if I got this up around that high, it would look better, even though this lip is super small around the edge. But we kind of wanted to have just a little bit of clearance around the bumper. Anyways, I dig that. We'll have to do the same thing over to this side. We'll kind of follow that, a little bit of heat, get it where we want. Then we can start molding up. I guess in the big picture, this schnoz is not coming out. We're going to weld this thing up. It'll be one piece with that. The fenders are going to be welded to the truck. Nothing's going to be... Nothing's going to be movable. Alright, so I stretched this and I hit it a little bit with the plenishing hammer. It's getting close. I'm not exactly sure what I got to do here. All I know is I just want to trim this better so that fits where I want and then we'll kind of work our way around. I feel like I actually have to get close to that line that I made there. Not bad. It's 
So I'm thinking we can fill a lot of that with weld. So I want a little more into here. We'll do that on the plenishing hammer and I hope this will catch up. Well, overall I'm pretty happy other than this one's not reaching where I want. But I think, uh, little finger squeege, a little trim. We might get close to what we're looking for. I think that's not, not terrible. If we bring that down, zap that, kind of push, push everything where I want, I think we're in the money here. <laughs> you know, I start with one shape and we, we slowly get there. But I think it was actually pretty good. Yeah, I want to trim this a little better. All right, I'm going for it. We're gonna attack it. Making sure gap is good under there. Need a pushing device. Do a little bit of interesting fill in there, but. Well, that's not too bad. That worked out way better than I thought. <laughs> hey. Next. Kind of what I started with. Overall, this is not too bad. I'll bring this around, we'll trim this off. I will trim, 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 trim. Let me do that and I'll bring it right back. Started with that. Now I can see we can trim some more here. It's really, I need that for now. Not too much. We'll hit it with the plenishing hammer, but I don't think it needs very much. Dinah, that worked out way better than I thought. <clears throat> I think I can trim more of this out though. That was an excessive trim. <laughs> I think I got what I wanted here. Let's do that right up to my weld. 
touch him a wee bit more. Put that all down my shirt. Trim this off to be a flushy flush weld. Find my little contoury hammer. Well, that was fun. I actually like that. A little bit of half power hammer or uh, plenishing hammer action and needed the stretcher shrinker a little bit here. We had to uh, stretch this to go around. And I tried shrinking, but I ended up goofing that. I actually had to stretch this part too. Uh, even though it was in a, a perfect curve, when you try to go, it was just a little too much material up in those spots. So just hit it with the kick shrink there or kick stretcher. That's what we were doing. Um, so that ended up making this panel want to go this way. Then we just put it back in the plenishing hammer a bit just to to get the curves to go around. Other than that, we have, like you can see, it's got a nice, it's nice. I, I, this part I'm not, I don't like, but I don't really know what to do there. I think just basically when it comes time to do body filler, it'll just need the old little, little finger squeeze just to give it a, a slight transition between the two pieces. We'll do there. This one should just blend up nice, so. And there. I feel this should be bigger really, but I don't know if it started with a bigger round piece. I don't know by the time I got over here how a feller would actually make it just look normal. By the time I fill this with weld, there'll be the tiniest of lip. And then uh, once we get the bumper or this fender sitting where it's supposed to be, everything just goes flush with the bumper here. So I don't know. Overall, it's nice. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, we'll have to mm, probably jab some welding wire in there and just we'll weld that thing up solid onto there that's gonna happen yet I have to make a filler for this thing yet but first things first we got to make one of these over here you can see how my original design here my idea is just pretty flat was not good not good so much happier with the uh, version 2 of that just comes up higher so all right well if I did things right my template should work on this side <laughs>
I feel like they're pretty close. A little bit of differences, but a little schmooze will fix everything up. Yeah. Well, we, yeah, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> it's a slightly off, but not enough. Not enough to change everything I'm doing, so. I'm cool with that. We got that set up. Uh, yeah. I think next thing we can do now is actually pull the bumper. We can do some cleanup and get a whole lot of welding happening. I think that is what we're going to do uh, next. Get the bumper off. We can take the grill out. Um, we'll be able to weld this thing up solid up to the top. Do the same over on this side. Get this all welded in. Get the brackets for this welded in. I guess we can get the bumper off. Actually blitz everything on there together. I like it. We are pretty much there. Though, I, I don't think I'm going to get too much more done tonight. I think that will be a tomorrow's project. <laughs> well, new day. I realized I didn't actually talk about this when I branded on the planishing hammer versus the last time when I used the stretch shrinker. I actually kind of just, I manipulated this while I was bending. You can see me when I was in the planishing hammer. I was actually just pressing on it to make it do this bend and it seemed to actually work. I was kind of getting a reverse curve out of it. So take it for what it is. I was kind of happy the way that went. Again, the, things are a little bit different from side to side, but that's kind of how this all goes. I think it's close enough. Like I said, once we uh, schmooze it, everything's gonna be fine and dandy, but. Anyways, right now, what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna run the zip cut just through to clean this all up. I plan to just try to weld this all solid. Uh, I wanna try to at least get all of this welded up solid, get this mustache part welded solid, and we'll make some some covers for in there. Pretty sure that is, uh, that's gonna be my plan for this round. We'll have to come back eventually and then hit this stuff, get all these dents out. But we gotta slice this and fix up the headlight rings like I was talking about before, so. But for now, let's just commence a whole lot of welding. Well, we got this lower section all stitched up. Pretty happy with this. Uh, I like to weld everything solid. I don't know, I see a lot of people stitch welding. I can see it on the floor, but this is what I've always done. And I don't know that it's right or wrong, but this is what I guess I was taught. It should be just a complete solid weld. Kind of how it was, you know? Uh, either way, or anyways. <laughs> we got this all done. This is coming up here, this is pretty good. We're gonna have to still do up here yet, but I'll do that when the truck goes down a bit. Right now, I think my thing I wanna get done is we're gonna make um, a template, buzz these in. We're gonna delete these, cause on our markers, they actually have a signal or a provision for a signal. And I'd like to put one in there. I don't have the lens, but we can make that pretty easily. 
So we'll be able to do our, our signal light up here. So these are not necessary. Anyways, we're gonna do, we'll make those quick. Uh, I'll probably pop this grill out just so I can finish weld my, my new bracket that I moved inside of there. So I can burn that back up and then we can kind of stick it back on.
Well, we almost got as far as I wanted to get in this video. Uh, the only thing I didn't actually get done was the bumper. Get this all welded up. We got the schnoz, the little mustache thing. We got that all, that's all burned in. We got our two edges done. Edging, lips, transition. I don't know. It would have been nicer. Well, there's a lot of squareness on here. Now I'm thinking about changing this, but I don't know how I would do it. I think that's fine. I think it'll be okay. Anyways, we got our transitions into there. Our grill is welded, bolted in. We'll probably take it out because I got there, I got the lower plates in. I got a little bit on the rad cradle to do, but I think we can actually like just start doing something like spraying. Well, I don't think I'll spray it yet, but we have to work on these headlights. That'll be the next. Get those things situated right. I gotta finish welding those fenders. But we might be able to schmooze and just get a little bit of primer on some stuff. That's kind of... I know I'm kind of jumping the gun on that, but it'd just be nice to tackle it in small... small blobs so it's not so overwhelming all the bodywork. Because I'm not a big fan of it, but... The truck deserves it. Anyways, I'm pretty happy the way that turned out. Right? What do you think? Good? <laughs> hey? I had to stop to put the bits on to get the full picture here. Now I had to dig it. Got a little bit of goofiness with this hood that I'm probably going to have to work out yet. I'm not happy about that, but... I'm trying to ignore it, but... Eh, well, I don't think the hood's on proper anyways here, but... We'll see. We might have to address that. Anyways, I think that's where we're going to leave this one. I uh, want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you in the next one. We're possibly we'll be doing a little more front end stuff, but I think we got most of it all buttoned up. I'm pretty happy the way it turned out here. Right? What do you think, pup? Sound like a plan? <laughs>